Fugitive slaves played a vital role organizing for abolition. As slaves began to tell their own stories, some even wrote letters to their former owners, defying their attempt to return them to slavery with the simple message, catch me if you can. Here is one such letter written by Jermaine Wesley Loguin in 1860. They say we in our double G-E-R. We are much more. Still, we choose to ignore the obvious. Man, it's just... Mrs. Sarah Logue, yours of the uh, 20th of February is uh, duly received. Uh, it is a long time since I heard from my poor old mother, and I am glad to know that she is yet alive. You sold my brother and sister and 12 acres of land, you say, because I ran away. Uh, now you have the unutterable meanness to ask me to return and be your miserable chattel or in lieu thereof, send you $1,000 to enable you to redeem the land, but not to redeem my poor brother and sister. Mm. If I were to send you money, it would be to get my brother and sister and not that you should get land. I am, I am indignant beyond the, the, the power of words to express that you should be so sunken and so cruel as to tear the hearts I love so much all in pieces. Wretched woman. Be it known to you that I value my freedom to say nothing of my mother, brothers, and sisters more than your whole body, more indeed than my own life, more than all the lives of all the slaveholders and tyrants under heaven. You say you have offers to buy me and that you shall sell me if I do not send you $1,000. And in the same breath and almost in the, in the same sentence, you say... You know we raised you as we did our own children. <laughs> Woman, did you raise your children for the market? Did you raise them for the whipping post? Did you raise them to be driven off, bound in chains? Where are my poor bleeding brothers and sisters? Who was it? that sent them off into the sugar and cotton fields to be kicked and cuffed and whipped and to groan and die. Wretched woman. Do you say you did not do it? Then I reply, your husband did. And you approved the deed, and the very letter you sent me shows me that your heart approves it all. Shame on you. You say I am a thief because I took the old mare along with me. Have you got to learn that I had a better right to the old mayor that Master Logue had to me? Is it a greater sin for me to steal his horse than it was for him to rob my mother's cradle and steal me? Mm -hmm. mm. Have you got to learn that human rights are mutual and reciprocal? And if you take my liberty and my life, you forfeit your own liberty and your own life. Before God in high heaven, is there a law for one man which is not a law for every other man? If you or any other speculator on my body and rights wish to know how I regard my rights, they need but come here, lay their hands on me to enslave me. I stand among a free people who I thank God sympathize with my rights and the rights of mankind. Mm. We are the slave and the master. What you looking for? Wow. You the question and the answer.